Our next guest has certainly come a long way to be with us tonight. You think you're the best that we can find in America? Right. It was this American Idol audition that started it all. And in a story that only happens in fairy tales, Jennifer Hudson went from working on a cruise ship to winning a Grammy, a Golden Globe and an Oscar. And pretty much every other award possible. With a new album, film and some to show off, Jennifer's looking a million bucks and continuing to knock us out with that voice. Please welcome to the project desk, Jennifer Hudson. Somewhere. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. A cruise ship. What did you sing? I worked on a Disney Wonder cruise ship right before American Idol. And two days after I got off the ship, I went in an audition for Idol. But I used to sing Circle of Life in Disney Dreams. And then I used to play the hit music in Hercules, the musical, where I narrated the show and I did all the singing. Now, can I talk about American Idol? You play seventh in Series 3. Can we just say now, America got it wrong. Right? <laughs> You're the biggest thing to come out of American wow. Idol. Wow. That's bizarre to me. But it was a fun experience. <laughs> Being very fun. Jennifer, looking at that, that, that early shot when you were you know, auditioning, you were 21, um, do you know that girl? Do you recognize that girl? You know girl? what? That's why my album is called I Remember Me because it feels, that feels like a whole nother life ago, yeah. you know, for myself. And I'm like, wow, that was me. And then that was me to win an Oscar. And like, that's me, you know? It just seems like different chapters in a way. And does it seem far, far away? It do, but it don't. Like, I remember it like yesterday, like I was just there singing on American Idol and I remember the exact spot I was standing in when I got eliminated and all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like it was just yesterday, but then it seems like it was so and far away. Person. Yeah. Speaking of how far you've come, amongst your friends mm -hmm. I was reading recently, you list Oprah and Barack Obama. <laughs> wow. Now, what I, would, I really need to know, they're both very powerful people. They are. If they both rang you at the same time on the phone, <laughs> Whose call do you take, Barack Obama or Oprah Winfrey? Oh, goodness. Um, I better answer both, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know the first time Oprah called me, I didn't know it was Oprah on the phone. I was like, this ain't no Oprah, and I put the phone down. And then <laughs> I said, oh, my God, it's Oprah. So you, you, you hung up on Oprah? I didn't, but I, I did put the phone down. It's like, no, really, it's Oprah on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is Oprah. Now, listen, through all this kind of building up your career, you found time to have a son, I a did. beautiful boy. I Neil, I think nearly two, David? Oh, yeah, he, he'll be two in August. So was that a career planned thing? No, it wasn't. It was a surprise, actually. But, I mean, he's an amazing blessing. I wish he was here. You guys could meet him because he's an entertainer himself. Oh, he is. <laughs> I've got some evidence of him being an entertainer. He was, you took him on The View a little I, while ago. I, I want to, to. Sh show this. And there he is. I have he's to. gorgeous. He would have it no other way. But what I loved is when he was given a microphone, yeah, he didn't he let go of it. He to the audience. Yeah. And as soon as he got there, he started smiling and blowing <laughs> kisses. <laughs> like, this is what he do at home all day. He played, he, like, he grabs his own mic. He has his own stand and he performs does he, does every he, day. Does he, has he inherited your talent? Can he sing? Has he got a good set of pipes? He on? seems to. Like, he he's very musical. Has he upstaged you before? All the time. I was singing in Barbados and I'm thinking, like, the crowd is cheering for me in the middle of my big note. And I look over, he, has, he snuck on the stage with his own mic. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, they're not clapping for me. That's for you, you know? But that's him all day. <laughs> a lot of women, when they're busy juggling a work mm -hmm. career and also a family, put on weight. You have just transformed. You are a completely different woman. I, I read that you maybe lost close to 80 pounds. 80 which pounds. Are, 35 yes. kilos mm. in the way that we, <laughs> we do it. But, uh, you know, was that about you trying to lose weight for yourself or was it about the industry and the job that you do? Um, well, it was when I was preparing for the film of Winnie, where I played Winnie. And also, after having a baby and one, you know, one my body back, no matter what that was. And then from there, I was like, wow, I have the power to do whatever I want to do with myself. And so that's what I did. And so four days people. after I had my baby, that's when I started like, what, this whole journey. So you play Winnie Mandela, yeah? Mm -hmm. She's going to be very happy, there's oh no doubt goodness. about that. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, the album, Jennifer Hudson, is I Remember. It is out now. Love it, Emoji. Please thank Jennifer Hudson. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and we'll be back with more 7pm after this. <laughs> Welcome back.
back to the project. Quick correction from you, Charlie. Made a mistake, yes. You love this bit. No, quick, <laughs> quickly, quickly. <laughs> okay, fine. Did what, what did I... Yeah, I, I got uh, the name of Jennifer Hudson's album wrong. I said oh, it was wrong. called... I remember it was called I Remember Me. I, I say that now. That She didn't tell me off in the ad break. I don't want you to think that. Yeah, but, but Dave did. <laughs> Dave did. Uh, to our feature story now.